Now the webhook is ready, so let's open the app to get the deployment URL. Let's head to Azure console to add this event as another event trigger. Click on add. Let's give the name as send email and select the table as users. The operation would be insert since we want to send an email whenever there is an insert operation on this table. Now the webhook URL will be the deployment URL along with the send email endpoint. Let's add this event trigger. All right, the event trigger has been added. Now let's go to data and insert a new row into the users table to test this event trigger. Go to users, insert a new row. Let's give ID three and let's insert another user and click on save. Now go to the events tab to check the processed event that has come in. This is the request. And this is the response. As we can see, the payload from the event trigger is success. Now let's go to the logs of the glitch deployment to see if the message has been sent. As you can see, the message has been queued in SendGrid. That's a wrap up of the event triggers.